So welcome everyone. We're excited to share this information about Arts Academy of Benjamin Rush. I, oh, there we go. I am Caitlin Prunty, the school counselor here. And we also have Mr. Bavaro. I'll let him introduce himself. I'm uh, Sonny Bavaro. I'm the SPTL and uh, English teacher among senior sponsor among, among some other things. Oh, I have to remember to tap. So the purpose of this overview is just to kind of go over um, this information to help you uh, share information to your students um, regarding our program. So what sets Rush apart from other schools? We are a performing arts school. We have five different majors here at Rush, visual media of arts, vocal music, modern band, instrumental music, theater, and dance. Last year, we were honored as one of the Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence, which was really exciting as we were one of the only Philadelphia schools that got that acknowledgement for 2022. We are rated one of the top 40 public high schools in Philadelphia. We are very big into social justice in the arts. And there's many, many opportunities to participate in programs. We have relationships with universities and galleries so that that can partnership can extend beyond high school. Do you want to go, Mr. Bravar? Sure. Um, what do students and families like uh, about our school? Um, they report many things to us and we have pretty vocal um, students. So uh, we're often asking them um, what it is uh, they like here. Um, they like that they get to pursue their major uh, beginning in ninth grade. Um, we have a very welcoming community. We emphasize that students uh, find the adult in the building, that they, you know, find their person. Um, and uh, the teachers do that as well. Um, a lot of the sort of social, emotional, or sort of culture things that we um, ask of the students, we also um, make it a best practice for teachers and staff. So we try to have a welcoming um, community, um, particularly uh, with attention to students who have uh, experienced difficulty in schooling in the past, um, whether it be... Um, bullying or, um, you know, uh, uh, not feeling great in school for, for other reasons. Um, what they also like is that we have a balance between arts and a rigorous academic course load. They take um, at least 53 minutes of their art every day by the time they're um, seniors. Uh, at, with some electives that only um, that our art major can elect into. Some students are are taking, um, are with their art teacher um, sometimes three to four times a day um, if they choose to, but we also have um, a full load of uh, academic classes. We don't, um, we actually hesitate to call them academic classes because our arts classes are very academic focusing uh, often on product, um, sometimes a little bit more than product. My lights just went off. Um, they like uh, the opportunities. We'll uh, show you a little bit later. We have a full range of um, uh, AP classes, of uh, clubs that run during advisory, as well as um, after school. Um, and some of the trips um, and our environment is very, very safe. So our admission criteria here for grades, we're looking for A's and B's and no more than two C's. For attendance, 90% or higher attendance. And for that standardized test, we're looking for that 50th, 50th percentile in ELA or math. The one thing that we've been informed that if a student has not taken the PSATs, you wanna make sure that alternate assessment is completed, but you won't be notified if you didn't put that in, it'll just allow you to move on. So just making sure, you know, if you have a student that didn't take that, that they are submitting that. And then the audition. So if, you know, students are eligible, um, they will be called or emailed. That information you put in on that application is extremely important because we do use it for the audition piece. 
and you'll be invited for our audition. And we are hoping to hold those in December this year. And each require each department has a different requirement, um, which is located in our um, in our on our website. On average, for our students, we are using that academic course language, but you know, all of our courses are academic in nature. But in terms of like your English, your math, the average class size is around 28. And in those major courses where you're coming here for the performing arts area, um, that is a little bit smaller and they will move as a cohort. So they will stay with those students for the four years in their major. We're looking at about 21 students. Um, we offer uh, um, AP classes and honors classes. We don't have an um, IB program here. Um, we offer nine AP courses, 24 honors courses at Rush. Um, there is no sort of track necessarily. Um, certainly the kids who are in honors classes end up being uh, more prepared for the, the rigors of the other classes. But um, we we allow, um, so we allow students to um, take a honors class and not necessarily move into um, an AP course. Um, we've added um, a few classes over the past few years. We added AP language and composition um, for 11th graders uh, for the first time last year. Um, and also it's back this year, AP psychology is new this year. Many of our students, go on to major um, in things like psychology, given that the arts um, is such a focus on um, sort of human nature and, and, and how humans operate. Um, we also added uh, this year uh, computer science principles with the students are really excited about. Um, and then you could see with the honors courses, uh, there is a, a full range uh, beginning in ninth grade, um, which um, students have been asking for for quite some time and we were we were able to make happen um, last year I think uh, was one of the first times so and then all of their you can see oh sorry Caitlin sorry. at the bottom of those uh, honors courses you know vocal four for example because they're taking four years of vocal by the time they get um, to uh, to vocal four uh, three and four those are considered honors classes. Oops. Did I skip a slide? I skipped a slide. Or oh, our electives. There we go. Um, so because students are taking their major starting in ninth grade, the room for electives in their schedule, um, there's not as much wiggle room. Students are able to take an elective course their junior year and senior year, and some do double up in like a math their sophomore year. That isn't uncommon if they are really wanting to get to that AP Calc and didn't take algebra in eighth grade. So that is an option, but you'll see here we have a range from, um, you know, some specialized majors. So if students really both love vocal and art, but they chose to go the visual arts path, um, because we do ask students to only apply for one major, they can take the audition for chamber singers and be part of that, um, you know, and have that as elective. So we do have that option. And you can see um, some electives in the science and math department. Here's our bell schedule. Um, you know, classes average on 50 minutes. Uh, we do have an advisory period built in for period three that allows for clubs to meet. Um, we have different programs here that we operate during that time. We do a lot of college information sessions during that time. Our town halls where we meet as an entire grade. We had, you know, that this week. So we met with our seniors just a moment ago. So those are all, um, you'll see our bell schedule and lunches range starting at 930 um, through six, which is till one o'clock. And many students will take advantage of that third period lunch as a way to um, sort of take extra electives. Um, it is uh, also a way that our special ed students are able to um, take a, their college and it's college and career, right? Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, college and career. Of course, um, that 
you know, in, in addition to our special ed teachers pushing into classes, sort of have the push in model uh, that allows for um, some extra skills to be built. Um, this is a ninth grade uh, schedule, uh, English one or English one honors uh, US history. Um, the history department has done um, a lot of work in thinking about how, what classes go in what order, uh, particularly to support our social justice, um, that social justice aspect of our school, um, our year major one, and then um, depending on if you're already algebra one proficient, um, algebra one um, and geometry, lunch um, and advisory. We do not have uniforms here at Rush. Um, we do have a dress code. And I always giggle when I hear our principal talk about this because she really is just looking for, we want the kids to be appropriately clothed, but there is room and, you know, to express yourself um, through your dress. So that's one of the things that's really great about Rush. So students need to have a shirt on, they need to have bottoms and shoes. And we do go in that um, more detail with our students um, just making sure it's appropriate, but there is a lot of room for to for them to impress themselves. This is also, um, sorry, I keep doing that to you. Um, <laughs> a great example of the way that um, students have a really um, um, influential voice here. It was over a couple of years, actually, that we sort of revised and came up with this um, uh, uh, dress code policy, which you know, when it comes down to it is very, is quite simple, but in our student handbook, there's a little bit more of a philosophy behind it, but um, students really felt like um, they wanted to be uh, trusted a little bit more to where uh, what they felt was school appropriate um, and, you know, where we could kind of come to a compromise and so that they could uh, take the opportunity of high school to sort of learn what what appropriate clothing is like and sort of uh, try things out. Um, and they pointed it out to us a little bit, the the contradiction of of being at the school about uh, expression and 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 artistic and um, uh, expression and such and uh, having sort of a limiting dress code. So um, the students did research of, uh, you know, schools in the district, other schools in other districts. We had a lot of uh, like working group meetings and uh, and finally came up with this. Um, policy. And so it is an example of the way that we use our student government and council to really uh, make change so that students are getting in it um, a real good sense of what um, um, sort of social activism can look like. All right, our extracurricular activities. So our sports, you can see here the sports that we offer um, are one of our physical education teachers is our athletic director. And for sports that aren't listed here, we do have some, like we right now, we have a couple male students that are participating, I think at George Washington. So that is an option if you don't see something here. We have many clubs and activities, like many, many, many. And um, we actually, these are our last, these were last year's clubs and activities. So we are in the process right now of creating our clubs and activities. Um, so it's, uh, it's a great place for students to find people that have similar interests. So it can range from a book club. Our crocheting club was a big hit. Um, anywhere from Dungeons and Dragons. So you, you, I'm not gonna read them all, but you can see that we have a diverse offerings for clubs and activities. Uh, there's, there, most of our, um, our clubs and activities are open for all, but there are a few um, where, um, a few that are involved in in the conversations about the uh, climate and culture um, and work closely with the principal and other leaders in the building, those um, often have some sort of uh, uh, application process. And so the primary um, councils in our school are Relationships First, which is um, super um, 
vibrant here at Rush. Um, uh, the DEIC um, Council, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Council, uh, and our student government, um, all of which have application processes. Um, we have a club fair in late October, early November. All the students get to uh, go down there. I think during their lunch is how, we're do how we do it now. Um, and students have a board where they present what their club is about and try to um, drum up people to uh, come. And kids are um, coming up with ideas for clubs all the time and they just really need a sponsor from a teacher, but they are really 100% student run. Um, and uh, yeah. We have a lot of special events here at Rush. Um, this is only my second year here. So one of the things that I loved was seeing all the amazing celebrations that we have for the different minority groups that we have in our building. So we have a Hispanic heritage, African-American, Asian-American and pride assembly slash celebrations where students can audition and perform. Um, based on that topic. And it's really, really special. The whole school gets to see that. Um, we certainly make sure we have proms and dances, and we also have a lot of art shows and performances since we are that performing arts school. Um, we try to make sure that we are providing college and education awareness. So we make sure we do those FAFSA nights and have you know, um, college information sessions. And we do class trips. Our ninth grade is headed to the zoo um in the fall so and a blood drive we make sure to have a blood drive um every year i don't know if there's anything else you wanted to highlight um mr bavaro um I, no i think just that we um you know the performances let uh are part of the curriculum um for each of the art majors they're required uh and and sort of graded um and they for the students. And so it really is sort of a culminating event. Um, each major has at least um, a winter performance um, and a spring uh, slash summer performance. Some majors have three performances or exhibitions. Um, and um, it is a really exciting thing for, for students to get to see their friends uh, work um and uh, be an, a participant um as both audience members and um as as artists great if a student needs extra help um just some of the options here peer tutoring through our national honor society um, our teachers are here. That's one of the great things about the schedule we have is during that advisory periods, teachers will often meet with students, but certainly during lunch and after school, um, we make sure that we have that coordination. So grade level meetings and subject meetings so that we're making sure that students of concern are coming up and we can support them appropriately. And then we do have that college and career readiness class for any student with an IEP. Students um, come from all over uh, the city. Students who reside uh, 1.5 miles or more from the um, from Rush are issued a SEPTA key card. Um, the students, um, there are charter buses um, that um, bring just Rush students um, to dismiss. So yeah, the at dismissal charter buses are available. Um, on those three bus routes, um, but in the morning, they are taking the regular buses. Got it. Yeah. And just some fun facts. There's a lot written here, and I know our time is coming to an end, but um, just seeing that our, our teachers here are working artists. They're very talented in their field and show their own work. So that's something we're really proud of. Um, we did our first business. Was that the first year business day yeah. last year? Which was so great. Kids that had a business had to sign up. They could sell during lunch. I think we made a decent amount of money. The kids did really well. So that's something special that we do. Um, 
Yeah, I could yeah, I could just say that um a lot of our I mentioned this a little bit, but a lot of our um I teach all seniors and a lot of our students end up going uh interestingly go into careers in uh STEM, psychology, teaching, um because we sort of prioritize creativity in all of the classes um, and uh, show them the ways that in the different disciplines you really need sort of creative and out of the box thinking. Um, and one of the ways we do that is all of our arts programs are focusing on all aspects of artistic production. Um, and what that means is that beginners are welcome when students find uh, that they have an interest. Um, we like to sort of cultivate that. Um, maybe they love theater, but they're not a great actor, but they would be great at um, playwriting or um, some uh, stage design or um, direction. Um, so because we involve students in all aspects, um, we're, we're allowed the we're afforded the ability to have students who have a interest and a passion uh to find a little bit of their uh, own own niche in their major and then here's just some fun photos that we have you can see in front of our building um are some of our performances we did the spelling bee musical last year and we do have students that um we have a group the students run philly style and i think they ran in an 8k maybe in the fall so we um just some pictures there and that's it so there's my information our website there um you know as the counselor i think i am the go-to person for questions but certainly mr Bavar is here to answer any questions as well and we hope you enjoyed learning about rush <laughs>